As we say, breaking news, Floyd Chivambo has left the EFF and joined Umkonto Wesizwe party. Now, we got to have a look. I've got videos where we will dissect that. Uh, Floyd Chivambo will speak. Don't worry, we will, I will allow you guys to just listen to that as well. But at the same time, here with me, there is a letter coming from uh, coming from a MK party where they indeed welcomed oh they welcome oh oh, no, oh Floyd Chivambo now just to give clarity so that there is no uh, speculation I have decided not to renew the membership of the EFF because I will join and participate in Umkonto as a party. I am not going to speak here in Winnipeg Mandela House as to what is the basis of that because that will be tantamount to campaigning already for Mkonto as a party. So I'm going to be actively involved in Mkonto as a party uh, and shape uh, its direction and the politics that are obtaining today in South Africa. So that is to end the uncertainty or speculations that have been obtaining in terms of what is going to happen. There is no specific position that has been assigned to me. There is no commitment or any promise of deployment to parliament or to anything. It's a decision that I have taken and I think and believe that it will add meaningful value to the progressive and revolutionary politics that must be pursued by all the progressive forces in South Africa. Thank you very much. It is, that the reason I'm even, uh, I, I, I don't know what to say, but there are words that were used by EMK party that makes me go like, uh, wait a minute, what are you saying here? You know what I'm saying? So there's a letter dated, let me check this uh, here, media statement dated 15 August 2024, uh, statement on Mzwanele Mani and Floyd Shivambu joining MK Party. Oh, wait. Wait. MK Party has Mzwanele Mani as well joining the party. <laughs> yeah. uh, but at the same time, I think it is, it is all, look, long overdue considering the fact that they need experience. Experience is needed. And I've heard Julius Malema talking about uh, how much they need experience when they are arguing in court. I mean, sorry, not in court, man. In when they are arguing in, uh, like in parliament. Speaking about court, um, actually, the reason I'm even mentioning the issue of a court is simply because there's a court case. We were supposed to get a judgment today on the 15th of August by look uh, given by e given by e what is this look uh by judge look, look in the case between sapc and the mk party but again that hasn't happened because the judgment was supposed to be issued around cora uh, around half fast not cora, cora, around half fast so we we're waiting for that but it never came never nonetheless we thought, okay, it's okay. Uh, on the uh, look, so I was busy. Uh, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening uh, on the. I'm on the Sons of Iwa case. At the same time, I'm on um, this case. You know, today I was jangling between two things. But yeah, we succeeded get in getting everything done. So let's proceed to get with the uh, with uh, the the one here, Mzanele Mani, as well as o uh, as well as o um, as well as o. Uh, Floyd Chivambo. Now, now let me mention this. It has been said that uh, uh, look, um, I think uh, she was going to join Aruno because on her official Twitter account tweeted the following media alert rumors by SAPC News about me leaving EFF are fake news. I will never betray the fighters, my political home. I, you all know, guys, I'm a politician, they speak like that. The next thing, they are gone. But wait a minute, don't go anywhere. Instead, 
this is what you need to do here if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this youtube channel speaking about financial contribution to the channel you can join become a member of this youtube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month you can also uh, use the super thanks party in case you don't want to do that guys there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so i'm gonna insert the video please give me that time i will do exactly that but let's go through now where let's go through the letter here where um, this political party where emk party welcomed the Chivambo. they said Umkonto Wesizwa party confirms that the uh, comrade Mzwanele Mani and uh, comrade uh, Floyd Chivambo have joined the party. Um, the Umkonto Wesizwa welcomes the decision by, uh, by these astute and well-experienced leaders as it, will, look, as it could not have come at a better time. The onboarding of both these prog look, progressive and political experience uh, comrade will further strengthen the agenda of the progressive caucus that is where uh when i heard that i was like mm, i don't know if i'm hearing i don't know if people are hearing what i'm hearing here it is kind of like um it's kind of like th this is like a uh, jewish business né? so they will say what are you look they will say for instance you come to this jewish business and you say uh, a, a certain Jewish store owner, and you say, "I'm looking for this particular uh, specific product," and they will be like, "Oh, I don't have it," but they will refer you to another person who is their own. Uh, I've seen other nations as well have adopted that system where it's like, uh, "What I have, you have. What you what you, what what you have. What, what, look, what you have, I don't have." So to balance the business, I don't I don't know if you see what I'm saying. So in other words, let me assist you in get in acquiring. Uh, the necessary experience in this political landscape that is something that is very appreciative you know the understanding that you know what we you need this political uh you need this political i mean you need the, the experience again but it, it does sounds like uh listening to this it does sounds like people sat down and they were like ah, uh -uh. I need experience and Floyd Chivambo is a local. He can do well in, 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 in strengthening my party because listen to them. They are saying this is going to strengthen the, look, the progressive caucus. Did you just hear that? Those words. <laughs> uh, Comrade Mani and Comrade Chivambo will be deployed respectively according to their strengths and expertise. As leadership, we are ask that all members of Mkonto Wesizwe welcome these two progressive comrades as they uh, as they begin to form part of driving the agenda of the revolution we wish them as well as look uti, we, button, we wish them as well uh, as well as they pick up their spear and continue to fight for the emancipation and the dethronement and the local margin uh, uh, and the dethronement and the marginalized people in our country that is what um the, the letter reads Ntlamulon Lela, head of media and communication and then he gave us his contact number that is here but they don't they, they hardly answer their numbers so yeah um i must give you the speech uh, i must give you the speech a full speech saga Floyd Chivambo where or when he was now stepping down uh, as uh, as a member of e EFF now joining officially Umkonto Wesizwe. So you will have to listen to everything that Floyd Chivambo has got to say starting from here. You and I guys we shall meet in the next um, video. But before then, don't, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and comment in the comment section below. Doing all those things, guys, it is free of charge. Don't forget to share this video. 
to as many people as possible or with with your friends and family guys listen to the video gaflo chivambo here to hand over to the deputy president right now no thank you very much commissar uh, lien uh, our national spokesperson and uh, the president of the EFF and Commander-in-Chief, the Secretary-General, DSG, the National Chairperson, the TG, uh, and members of the media. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, we have called this press conference uh, as the officials of the EFF now, so that uh, we get an opportunity to uh, publicly read out the letter which I sent yesterday to the President and Commander-in-Chief in terms of uh, the politics of South Africa. I'm going to read the, the letter word per word so that there are no speculations in terms of the basis upon which we are communicating this particular decision. So the letter says, Greetings, uh, Comrade President. The chairperson of Ward 44, Johannesburg, has informed me that my membership of the EFF has lapsed. And I said, please be informed that I will not renew my membership of the EFF in Ward 44, which is one of the best performing wards in Johannesburg region. I also request to resign my position as Member of Parliament and all positions in the EFF. I will only do so after receiving a go-ahead from the organization because it is the EFF that deployed me to Parliament. I cherish and appreciate the work that we collectively did in the EFF and building a formidable organization. I believe the aspirations and vision contained in the organizational redesign document of the EFF can still be achieved. That the visions that are contained in the organizational redesign document of the EFF can still be achieved and that I believe so that my non-renewal of EFF membership is not a vote of no confidence in the organization, but a revolutionary act that will allow progressive forces to unite and work towards the agenda for progressive and revolutionary change. I have never in my service of the organization acted outside its democratic and revolutionary decisions, discipline and practice. I have served with humility and discipline. I will never abandon the cause for economic emancipation and true freedom in our lifetime. I will never compromise my commitment to true emancipation. And I will never abandon my commitment to the Marxist-Leninist ideological lenses and view and guide to action in my understanding of society. I will not do and say anything that will compromise the integrity of the organization that we have collectively founded. My sincere plea is that in its reflection of the decision that I have taken, the organization should also avoid mischaracterization of an otherwise revolutionary and disciplined decision to not renew membership of the EFF and the request that I must be released from all areas that I'm deployed on behalf of the EFF. And then say that we have, over the years, played an important role in shaping the politics of South Africa and the continent, the African continent. We have all played our parts progressively, and I have no doubt that we will continue to do so in our respective different responsibilities. I firmly believe that political decisions should never be personalized and treated as betrayal of the cause and of individuals. I say, Comrade President, you are my brother and comrade, 
and will always cherish the contributions we made in our lives uh, during the formation of the EFF even prior to that. I wish the economic freedom fighters full prosperity and success and wish that all the commissars and ground forces and public representatives and members of the EFF Students Command will accept this very difficult decision that I have taken. The struggle and war for economic freedom will never be compromised by any individual decision. It has been ingrained in the hearts and minds of many people in South Africa and the entire African continent. A revolutionary regards and God bless, and the letter is signed off. And just to give clarity so that there is no uh, speculation, I've decided not to renew the membership of the EFF because I will join and participate in Umkonto as a party. I am not going to speak here in Winima Digizela Mandela House as to what is the basis of that because that will be tantamount to campaigning already for Mkonto as a party. So I'm going to be actively involved in Mkonto as a party uh, and shape uh, its direction and the politics that are obtaining today in South Africa. So that is to end the uncertainty or speculations that have been obtaining in terms of what is going to happen. There is no specific position that has been assigned to me. There is no commitment or any promise of deployment to parliament or to anything. It's a decision that I have taken and I think and believe that it will add meaningful value to the progressive and revolutionary politics that must be pursued by all the progressive forces in South Africa. Thank you very much.